guys, JW Davis here, bringing you a little FYI video real quick. So we had a customer call and complain earlier today, and of course they actually caught my mom on the phone, so I had to hear about it. So out of our 280 vehicles that we have in stock, I currently have only two that are not priced, and I want to explain why. And I think you guys can understand, but some people can't. In our world, I've got buildings full of parts, accessories, and up at the off-road shop, Daniel and Brian have everything a man could imagine that can be done to a vehicle. None of it is cheap, not whatsoever. So you'll notice this Suburban. We'll use this as another example. You've seen it in some videos. People have asked the price. I keep responding and my guys keep responding. It's not currently for sale because it's not finished. And sometimes the trucks are never finished. Again, none of them are ever going to get to a 2024 platform when they're a 1980s model vehicle. But we try to do our best to make sure they're as good as possible. So like with this Suburban, I could have put a price on it and I could have sold it. But I wanted to fix all the little nook and cranny things. The AC, uh, a couple other little door locks and windows and some trim. And we were waiting on parts. I didn't want to sell it incomplete. Now this truck's finished, and over the next couple days, I'll get a chance to clean it again, get it ready for pictures, photograph it, and put it on the web with a price. Um, could I have thrown a price out there prior to that? Absolutely, I could have. I honestly did this one more as a personal build because I do have family, um, and a Suburban's an excellent vehicle. But I did take the time to fix the things. Fixing the AC between parts, labor, that was two or $3,000. So if I put a price on it and then you call and said, hey, I see you got a Suburban for sale for 50 grand, and I have to tell you, well, no, sir, actually now it's 53. You're not gonna be real happy. Um, so we have been a dealership that is very thorough about making sure we put our prices on everything. We brag about it all the time. Through COVID, I think we were probably in the one or two percentile of people that put prices on things because you could get whatever you wanted. If I had a truck for 40 grand, the next dealer could get 50 for it or 60 for it. If you didn't have it, you couldn't get it. The prices didn't matter, but we priced all our vehicles. And we still price all our vehicles. You zoom in across the street there, Trista, that blue and white truck. That's the one the customer called and complained on. If I had put a price on it as soon as it came in and we did not have it on the rack, we had not checked it over, I could not give you guys an honest representation of what that truck was. If you don't want a good honest representation, then we can just sell you anything for whatever. But we're not going to do that. We refuse to do that. So that truck has just finished in service. It's just finished in inspection. And that's a third-party shop, which we brought you a video showing you that. Now it's going to go to our off-road shop, and Daniel and Brian are going to check it over. And when they give me the thumbs up, then that truck will be priced. Same thing. If they say, JW, it needs crossover steering in a track bar system, that's not just a couple hundred dollars. That's an expensive upgrade. If they say it needs it, I'm going to do it. But chances are it won't. It's a four-inch kit. The other vehicle that's not priced, the Shack truck. Everybody calls about it. It's a great truck. It's a very expensive truck. You're not going to buy this truck for cheap. But the truck sat for three or four years. It has some fuel contaminants. I've been working through that, getting the filters ordered, the lines replaced. I want to make sure it's perfect before it's sold. If you call, we'll give you a price, but I'm going to explain to you what that price entails. So here are two vehicles that aren't priced. Out of, go on my website, davis4x4.com, everything else has a price. Everything else has a description, and we try to be very honest about it. But we do take, you know, again, the customer's just, you know, on the other end thinking, oh, everything's ready to go, everything's perfect. There is no perfect world. So I just want to do a little explaining. Thankfully, we get thousands and thousands and thousands of positive feedbacks. But when my mom asked about that truck, I said, look, it's not ready yet. She understands what that means. The customer did not, unfortunately. So we answered his questions um, and uh, got him a ballpark price on where it is currently if we did not do anything else. But I'm still going to run into the shop and check it over. I want them to put their hands on the nuts and bolts and check things, and then it can be bought. You'll also see ones that we say, look, we did not check out. We did not go over. You're just getting what you got. Because then also the other side of the coin is we can't possibly get to every single vehicle. We don't have time. So some of them will be sold with the representation of, hey, this is what we know, this is all we know. You'll see that in the descriptions. Everything else in this building is priced. I'll show you one more, the Tan Suburban, with a little explanation on that one. 
Red trucks price, white trucks price, any level lifts price, the big Duramax, the blue square body, the Ford, the Air Ride Chevy. We also have a lot of people comment they see something in the background. If you see something in the background, please go to the website. That Chances are you're going to find it on there. Um, even my personal tan and white blazer over there, that is for sale. This Suburban here is another good example. If you follow us, you've noticed we've changed the tires, we've changed the wheels, we've done a couple things. I've got it pretty much where I'm the happiest with it currently. Um, but when this truck came in, we sent it to the shop, they shook it down, we could tell it had some play in the front end. The shop said, look, it'll go by for inspection. It's, you know, it's got some play in the ball joints, it's got some play in the tie rods, but uh, you know, it's an old truck, so be it. Um, so we originally priced it, and in the description we said, we recommend tie rods, ball joints, et cetera, um, because we didn't have time to get to it. Unfortunately, at that time, we had a $100,000 square body, a $50,000 square body, three or four $150,000 tow trucks that were getting ready. I could not put in front of it a $20,000 truck for some tie rods and other things. If somebody bought it and wanted it, we would get it done. But there is also an order of importance here, too. So, lo and behold, we got caught up. This truck has new upper and lower ball joints. It has new tie rod drag link, uh, new brakes and calipers, everything to make it proper and safe. Yes, the price went up in accordance to that. If we spent $1,200, the price probably went up a grand. I don't know, you know, but I'm sure we spent more than what we upped the price. We have put it on the tires and wheels that I'm happy with now. It's got a set of 35 all terrains, rally wheels that are kind of uh, color corrected, almost to match the truck. Runs, drives, operates great. And this will be a good truck for somebody. So again, guys, just wanted to understand or let y'all understand why sometimes pricing is not on there. Sometimes we say, hey, a truck's not done. Uh, yes, everything technically pretty much is for sale that we had. Uh, but at the same time, if that blue and white crew cab over there, I decide to take it home and keep it, so be it. You know, it goes home and I keep it. It's not going down in value. Um, but uh, we want to give you guys an honest representation on these vehicles go over them properly. Uh, sometimes, yes, we're taking them and enjoying them, the big blue crew cab we're buildings that way. Um, we're putting personal effort into them to make sure they're worthy of what we would consider as perfect as possible. We cannot do that with a $20,000 truck like this. We can't do it with a $30,000. We'll make sure it's safe. We'll make sure it's good. There'll be glitches, but that's where we stand with pricing, guys. So thanks for all your support. Again, sorry to have to do a video like this, but we do want people to understand we're not being secretive. There's really no secrets in our business whatsoever. Uh, we just want you guys to get what you pay for and understand what you're buying. So thanks for watching, guys. David Strauss on YouTube. David Soto, Sales in Richmond, Virginia.